Hello, and I am Red Velvet, and this is Puppy Play. Have you ever wondered how it would be to be a puppy? How it would feel to walk a forest? How it would feel to be on a leash walking next to me? Of course, if you are good, you can have a little treat afterwards. But for now, we need to get you into that lovely puppy headspace. Isn't that right? And for that, I need to trance you. Isn't that right? Indeed. So for that, I shall count you down. Right? Yes, indeed. But I can always let you just answer yes. And that is so much fun, right? Such a good subject. Wanting to feel so good. Isn't that right? Wanting to obey me, right? Wanting to feel like a playful puppy. Isn't that right? Very good. And you want to go and transform me, isn't that right? You want to transform into a lovely puppy to be able to walk on all fours. And you want that so badly, isn't that right? Very good. Now, why don't you close your eyes as you imagine a big garden with a lot of space to play. And what we are going to do is fetch. Of course, I have two different tins laying next to me. A ball and a stick. And we start with the ball. Look at the ball. As I pick it up. Holding it in my hand for a bit, making you want the ball so badly as I move the ball right before of your eyes. By now, you are so enthusiastic to catch the ball that you want to chase it so badly. So see the ball being thrown. Your eyes follow the ball that goes so high as you chase the ball. You run so fast, jumping in the air as you catch the ball in your hand. And as you come back, you have a big bright smell on your lips. You give me the ball again and I smell. It is pretty easy, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Pretty easy. Let me do it again as I count you down. From 10, as I throw the ball far away and you start to run. To be by 9, catching the ball and bringing it back. As you place the ball down and I pick the ball up. To buy 8, throwing the ball far away again, so you can run after the ball. Feeling a bit more like a puppy as you start to run faster. Not noticing at all a slight change in yourself. 7. Grabbing the ball for me and bringing it obediently back. And it feels so good to catch the ball. That proud feeling is coming up as a smell appears. It is so much fun after all. <laughs> Six. Feeling how your arms and legs turn into puppy paws. Sitting obediently for me on the ground so I can throw again. Waiting so patiently as you watch the ball 
with your cute puppy eyes. Such a good puppers. But this time, I will try something different. Notice how I place the ball away. And by five, throw a beautiful stick far away. Chase the stick puppy. And as you chase the stick, you start to feel that you are running on force and because you win on all force you win much faster it feels almost like you win even faster than light you bring the stick back at four placing it right before of me sitting down and waiting patiently of course I pick up the stick by three as I give you a lovely pet and throw the stick far away. And you might not have known about it before, but we are in a park and you went so fast over the grass. As you catch the stick and bring it back, it feels so good to feel how fast your puppy paws are. How the wind is blowing over your fur. Of course, you have to stop running eventually. As you lay the stick down by two and sit to wait before I throw again. Watching closely the stick, knowing I will throw soon again. Wanting so badly to stand up to grab the stick. But you wait patiently. And then finally, one, watch how I throw the stick far away. You wait patiently this time until I give you the command catch to catch the stick. And you might not have noticed it, but your ears and tail have grown. Your hair has spread itself all over your body. And even if you can still speak, you also bark. You bring the stick back to me. As I grab the stick, I bet your head. Good puppy. Very well done. Come with me. I put your collar on your neck. Followed by connecting the leash. You feel a soft pull from the leash. But it makes you remember that I am the one who is leading you. And you are happy to follow. Listen. Very good puppy, you move your ears towards me, so you can focus even better on my words. I will give you some commands, and I hope you will follow them so good as possible. Now, as we are going to walk, I will tell you to follow. So when I say follow, you will follow me. And you will stay at my side while you are on the leash. Do you understand? Very good. Then I have the stick and the ball. I will take it with me. But when I throw the ball and tell you to catch, you will start to chase the ball. Yes? Very good. Such a good puppy. Of course. We do not forget the stick, as I am going to throw that one as well. Do you understand, my beloved puppy? Yes? Very good. Then the last command for this walk. Then the last command for this walk, walking, walking, walking. Then the last command. For this walking trip, trip. Then the last command for this walking trip in this lovely park. When I tell you to stop, you stop immediately. Then the last command for this walking trip in this lovely park. When I tell you to stop, you stop immediately. Even if you saw something interesting that was almost irresistible to ignore. 
you stop. Do you understand? Good. Very good. Now you know already. Sit and stand. So I'm not going to explain that. And of course, walk. So follow my lovely puppy. Let's take this path. That is located right before of us. And as we walk, you feel such an enthusiastic feeling coming up. You feel so good to be a puppy. And even, you feel the paths under you. A lovely hardened sand path. You hear how the path makes sounds under your paws. And as we walk, you can see so much like the trees, the animals, some ducks in that water. That you would like to chase. So much that you start to run. But as soon as I see that, I say stop. You stop immediately. Watching those ducks. It would be so much fun to chase. You would love to have your fur wet. But then, you would need to go in the path. And we don't want that. Right? Indeed. So come here and follow. You walk to me and sit next to me as I pick up the leash again. You bravely follow me and that feels so good. It makes you so happy. So good. And as you walk like a good puppy next to me, making me lead you birds all fly over and the lake nearby is so calm we take a turn to the left and find ourselves at a big football field I stop and as you stop I tell you to sit sit my lovely puppy you sit down and I take off the leash you feel like that gives you some freedom. You feel like that when the leash goes off, you feel some freedom. The freedom to run. The freedom to stretch your body all the way. Such a nice stretch. Good puppy. I move the stick a bit. Right before of your eyes. You watch the stick. To the left, to the right, circling a bit before your eyes, and you are fixated on it, isn't it right? Indeed you are. And you want to chase the stick, you want to catch it again and bring it back. You want to be a good puppy. So you wait, right before me, until I throw the stick again. I throw the stick again, far away in the open field. Chase. You feel how your body reacts immediately as you chase the stick. You feel so good, so happy, so full of energy. And as you touch the grass with your balls, as you run, you only run faster. Feeling the wind through your hair, your tongue, out of your mouth, having so much fun. You catch the stick and bring it back, feeling so proud as you hold the stick and bring it back to me. I hold my hand so you can give it to me. And as you give the stick to me, I throw it once again, far away of the field. Chase. And you chase the stick. You catch the stick as you make a jump in the air, feeling the fun in catching the stick, and bring it back. Good puppy. I give you a pat on your head. Right now, I have the ball again, and throw the ball that I hold in my hand. You only see the ball now. Chase puppy, chase the ball for me. You run again, chasing the ball. But before it hits the ground, 
you catch the ball, you walk back a bit slower than before, as you hold your head piled up, you give me the ball and sit down, I pet your head, oh, is my good puppy tired, you shake your head, not yet, you shake again your head, you sure? And on the last, you nod your head. Sit in proudly that you still can go on. Alright then, I will throw the ball one more time. And then, we go home. Good? Yes? Great. I throw the ball far away. But this time, you don't have to walk all the way to me again, because I will walk with you, chase, and you chase the ball, you went so fast, that it almost feels like you are running faster than the light, you catch the ball and bring it back, I take the ball out of your mouth, you fight a little back, you don't want to let go of the ball. It is your ball. Let loose, Peppy. Come on. Give me the ball. If you do, you can get a treat when we are back home. You like getting a treat, so you let go. Now sit, Peppy. You sit down. As I leash you again. You feel the control that I have over you. And that feels so good. Now follow. You loyally follow my lead. And as you walk next to me, you feel so proud. We take a few pets more. And as we reach the bridge, we stare for a moment at the water. Seeing the fish and the duck in the water. We wave them goodbye.
as we continue towards the edge of the park. And there we are. We enter the edge of the park. Look in if no bikes cross as we cross over. Look in if no bikes cross as we cross over. As we cross over, we take a few more paths on the pavement. Seeing some other people with their dogs. And we are almost there. We are almost home. You want to walk faster, or she will catch a treat at home. You feel how your little puppy paws go faster. You know you shouldn't go faster than me. Or she feels some light pills from the leash. You slow down. And as you slow down, you find out we are by my house. You see the gate. As you stop. You sit down, waiting for me to unlock the gate. I open the door, and we walk in. I close the gate again, and we walk to the door of my house. And as we walk to the door of my house, you hear a comment. Sit. You sit down. As I open the door, your tail wiggles happily. Your ears are alert, as I tell you to follow. We walk inside, and as I close the door, I give you a smell. Good puppy! I turn myself around, and take your collar off. Follow me, puppy. I walk to the kitchen, and take out a big bit of treats, all filled with cookies. I take one out. Don't you worry. It is even made for human puppies. I give it to you. And you eat it, thankfully. Your tail wiggles again. And it is your favorite taste. Then I walk to the cards. Come here, puppy. You walk to me. And as you look up, you see my hand. Pet on my lap. Come here, puppy, on my lap, so I can give you some pets and caresses. You jump on my lap and lay down. Feel how I pet your head, slowly caressing your back, making you all relaxed, allowing you to close your eyes. And as I pet you, you feel how a warm glow goes over your body. Enjoying the feeling of my hand as I pet, pet, pet and caress over your body. You did so well. Such an obedient puppy. Now it is almost time. Now it is almost time to count you up again. But for now, you can enjoy the pets. Pet, 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 pet. And pet. And a lovely caress over your back, all the way to your tail, forming a warm glow over your body. Notice how I give you some scratches behind your ears, some scratches under your chin, and a soft hug. Now, my dear, I'm going to wake you up, and as I count you up, you can let go of the suggestions or hold them to yourself. Now let me count you up from 1 to 10 so you can fully wake up. 1. Feeling how my pets fade away. 2. Your hair starts to reduce to its normal spread over your body. Three. Feeling how your puppy ears make place for your normal human ears. Or, your tail is going away. Five, your toes are coming back. Six, getting your human mindset. Seven, more aware. Eight, returning to the waking world. Nine, 
almost there and then wake fully awake aware and energized welcome back i hope you like to be a puppy